Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. Violet's still in dreamland, and um, it's about quarter after six in the morning. Boy, I had a hard time getting out of bed this morning. Woo! Yeah, my husband left this morning around four o'clock in the morning. He has to teach today, so he's gone back to the city. I don't know if he's coming home tonight or in a couple days. I'm not sure, but anyways, I just heated up a coffee, but I heated it up in this. And it didn't all fit, so, um, yeah, yeah, I could have stayed snuggled in that bed all morning. I really could have. It was nice. But life has to go on, right? I do have the kids' lunches packed, and it's supposed to be snow showers today, but not till later on today, so there is school this morning for sure. And, yeah, yeah, I have chicken drumsticks I'm going to do up today. Probably in the air fryer. And, yeah, we're just going to try to have a nice... I'll probably try to get those done early in the day so I can have a little time to myself before the kids get home and all that stuff. Because it's been, yeah, a house full all weekend. So, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee and I'll be back. Alright, guys, I'm outside with the kids. Oh, it's chilly. Our driveway is like an ice rink. Yeah. It's like frozen ice. Maze, if you walk on the snow, you can walk faster. The snow is hard, too. Like, it's crunch. It's not even giving. Like, come on. well, I suppose. But it's not soft. It's, like, crunchy. Oh. But it's just us here right now. I don't see Devin or the other family, so... Yeah. Run, run! <laughs> You're holding your gloves in your hand and not on your hands. You silly boy. Here comes the bus. All right, have a good day, children. I love you so much. Love you too. You're the cutest yeah. thing since sliced bread. Okay, go on up. That other family's coming now. They're running. Oh. Cute. Have a good day, boys. Run, run. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, the hat. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my. Oh. All right, they're gone. The other day when Misha and Mays got a ride into town, Misha forgot her hat and a little scribbler in the car, so she brought that. But yeah, Mazaya and Violet are up now. I have to go ah, poke the bear, see if Mally will get up without any issue, and get those guys sent off. All right, guys, it's quarter to eight in the morning. This is the drumsticks my husband brought back from Costco. It's a giant pack, like. 21 24 to the 19th today's only like the 13th so i'm gonna do them up in the air fryer it'll take a couple of rounds if i do them all i don't know if i'll do them all we'll see i could always pack up the rest in a big ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer or whatever but i'll do that and some macaroni salad tonight for supper or something but i'm gonna get these out rinse them put them in a bowl shake them with some montreal chicken spice that's all i'm doing Drop a little smidge of oil in here and get them going. All right, there's ch 10 chicken drumsticks. I think that's good. I think I, uh, yeah, I don't know if I should do them all or not. But anyways, I rinsed them and put a whack of uh, Montreal chicken spice on it. Put just a like cap full of tablespoon of oil in there and I'm gonna do them up. 10 minutes on each side about approximately at 400 in the air fryer and we'll see if they're done. If they need a few more minutes then we'll do a few more minutes. All right I got five in each. 
and yeah, I'm just going to get those going now. All right, there's the leftover um, chicken drumsticks. I'm going to just put them in the fridge for now because I still have a few days out before they expired in case we need to cook some more. Um, but it's not in such a big pack. I try to push out as much air. I'll roll it up and it'll fit in the fridge for now. And then if we don't end up cooking them, I will put them in the deep freezer. All right, I'm outside with the big kids. These guys are having a right proper romp around. You gotta stay hydrated, don't you know? I know, but you still need to drink water. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> children. I love you. Be careful of the ice. I wouldn't be able to help laughing. Me and these two bozos. <laughs> oh yes. They sound ferocious, don't they? They're just playing, but they sound ferocious. All right, you guys, be cool. We gotta wave off to the children. I know they sit there patiently so they can see me wave. Not really, half the time they're not even looking. But that's all right. What's going on here? What's the issue? Mike? Somebody's walking up and down. Oh, the bus driver was walking up and down. The bus driver waves to me. <laughs> he must always think I'm waving to him, but that's okay. He's a nice guy. <laughs> All right, friends, I have not checked back in a bit. It's around one o'clock. Um, I ended up having a little nap because I can and it's Monday and I wanted to but this is the pasta salad I'm gonna make for supper um, it's just like making craft dinner KD boil it throw it in throw some miracle whip I put a little relish and just a little squirt of mustard in the seasoning pack in it and mix it up and put it in the fridge so I'm gonna do that up I'm gonna go get a little laundry going uh, just because I kind of didn't do anything all morning and yeah it's one o'clock now the chicken drumsticks are done though um, and I didn't show you that, but I will show you it before they eat it tonight for supper. All right, friends. Um, I put a couple tablespoons of Miracle Whip, uh, one of these spoons of relish, and a little squirt of mustard and the seasoning pack. So I'm just going to mix it all up. All right, there it is. Totally straightforward. It doesn't call for mustard or relish, I don't think. Uh, drain pasta, then rinse. Mix pasta and dressing cover. Refrigerate several hours or until chilled. Yeah, I just do the relish and mustard just just because that's what I do. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it right in the pot, put the cover on it, and stick it in the fridge for now. What are you doing, Violet? She's under the dining room table. I have some. Th I have three towels to hang up from the laundry I did while I was doing that um, macaroni. I'll hang that up. It's about quarter after two. I'm more awake now. I'm going to hang these up and, um, yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys, we're outside. Going to wait for the kids. We're out about 10 minutes early so they can run around and play a bit. It's a little chilly out, but I got my big red jacket on, so I should be fine. <laughs> that just came by. I thought it was the truck coming. Nope, not yet. They'll be coming soon. I think it's coming. God, I hope so. I'm cold. I only have thin little pants on. No, that's not it either. What the heck? It's like 15 minutes late, it seems like. I gotta check the time. No, it's only like five minutes late. Patience is a virtue, Violet. All right, I think it's coming. And now it is almost 15 minutes late. There's a little squirrel over there. Here it is. Thank the Lord above. Whew. That's Violet. There's a, a, a 
Liddy leaving from Sarita's house. Ooh. How was school? What? Did I hear about the crash? No. Were you in a crash? Oh, thank God. Just a minute. Let me deal with these fillers. Oh, those drumsticks just got done reheating in the air fryer. I like that they have that reheating option, but there's a bird there. I went to go fill up the bird feeders today. I don't have any more bird feed. I thought I had more out in the trunk of the car, and I don't. So the next time I go to town, i got to get some regular bird seed and some of that Niger bird seed. There are some little birds on the bottom part of that feeder. That's as far as I can go in. But I need some. I feel bad. There was some pheasants out there today too, just getting the stuff off the ground. All right, so there it is, all reheated. Pasta salad and they opted for a can of corn to go with it, so that's what I did. All right, it's pretty straightforward. Misha really likes that pasta salad, so two drumsticks, a bit of corn. Maze does not want that pasta salad, so I'll give him something else after when he gets hungry. But um, yeah. That's up. Won't get you, Mally. I'm here. All the kids are home. I was going to set you guys up and do a cake mix. I'm watching Southern Valley Cooks. Or Southern... Valley Cooks, I think. I. Anyways, it's a 70s strawberry cake because tomorrow's the strawberry social, right? I got white cake mix yesterday. I got strawberry jello yesterday. I was just watching her video. It's four eggs, half a cup of water, three fourths cup of oil. Oil, that's how she says it. The jello mix, half a cup of strawberries, optional. I'm not putting them in, but we do have strawberries. Uh, white cake mix, mix for two minutes and then put it in the pan and so on and so on and so on. But Mally has hijacked. The operation so she's doing it <laughs> but I'm here uh, motivating her you know being an inspiration or you know just being her support person but I was trying to get the cake in the oven before she got home but no <laughs> it didn't work that way the reason why the bus was so long unfortunately there's some sort of accident on the highway they had to be detoured around and I don't know any details about it but uh, I hope and pray whoever was in this accident they're not it wasn't a fatal accident I really hope even though I don't know everybody in this municipality even just losing one person or two people that I don't know you know somebody that knows that person and it's just like it hurts it hurts look at that what do you think of that Boris Wiener. what do you think of that Wiener. I'll give them some supper here in a minute but oh I gotta preheat the oven Love ya. 47 degrees. 347, is that what it says? No, I don't know what it says. <laughs> Probably 350. Probably 350 till the thing comes out clean. I know. Mally is going to do stuffed cream cheese strawberries. I might even dip them in chocolate after. Yeah, and dip them in chocolate later. Like, fancy? Yeah, we fancy. All right. Stop eating the leftover cream cheese. <laughs> These are stuffed strawberries with the cream cheese. What, there's icing sugar in it or something? Just sugar, a little vanilla, and yeah, perfect. So we're going to wrap them up, put them in the fridge. I'd put them out in my car, but it's so cold out there, they might freeze, and I don't want them to freeze because then they'll get all runny and stuff when they defrost. So we're just going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge till tomorrow. Well, sports-wise, we yeah. always rivaled. Anyways, uh, Mally is about to ice that strawberry cake now. I'll show you in a minute. But yesterday, I got three bags of these freeze-dried strawberries. She opened one, and she crushed the strawberries. Like, they're full-on, full strawberries in there. It says at least nine strawberries in here. But she kind of crushed them up a bit. And she's going to... She just made a cream cheese frosting and Cornelius I did buy like tubs of whipped top like icing but she wanted to make a cream cheese one so that's fine and yeah she's going to decorate it with strawberries and stuff all right here it is she's just cutting it in half it looks like it's talking to me 
<laughs> I also got these little strawberry marshmallow things. I'm going to open it up, but they're probably really tasty. They're probably complete garbage, garbage. but they'll probably tasty. But it is, you know, fringe, honey, fringe. All right, Mally cut that um, cake in half. So this is the cream cheese frosting she made. And the innards of the strawberries she took out when she did those stuffed strawberries, she cut it up nice and small and is putting it in the middle. And then she's going to plop that on top of it and ice the whole dang thing and then decorate it up. It's going to be stupendous. No waste. Oh, no no waste. waste. Oh, those are those dehydrated or freeze dried. Yeah, yeah you won't need much of those. This smells like, I know when I was a child, there was a strawberry shortcake cereal. Strawberry <laughs> like strawberry shortcake, the cartoon character, I you know, and it had those little strawberry things in it. That's what it smells like. Oh, it's even pink marshmallow in the middle. Pass me on. Please. Yeah, they're pretty, they're good, but not good for you but okay in moderation I suppose uh, flashback strawberry shortcake I remember you could enter to win a strawberry shortcake bedroom set like the blanket and pillowcase and canopy bed and stuff it smells like the strawberry and I so toys. wanted to win that when I was a little girl yeah like just little little Dehydrated, uh, I was going to say onions, strawberries. <laughs> I wish you did. These were supposed to be whole strawberries. I used the oven, or the rolling pin. And, uh, yeah, there's some chunks, but then she's doing it like that. Snow. That looks really nice, really nice. There, we might put a little Cool Whip on the cool edges whip. maybe tomorrow, but for cool. now, we're going to put this out somewhere it's nice and cold. Look at these biscuits. Mally made some biscuits. She's loading up another pan right there for strawberry shortcake tomorrow. Oh, Nelly. Just look at them. Don't touch them. I'm just looking at Don't them. Don't touch them. Okay, I just wanted to see. Them. Okay, Misha is here doing math for fun because she's good like that. And I'm getting her set up. She wants to make her own sub for tomorrow. So we have some of these buns from Costco. Got some chicken breast meat, some lettuce, mustard, some Miracle Whip. And she's going to do a sub up for tomorrow. So she wants to do it. So that's fine. And I'm in the middle of packing lunches. Ooh. All right, I just made four flakes of ham sandwiches for Maze. He will not be going to school on Friday, so we can have one as a snack sometime in the next day or two, but there'll be one for tomorrow, one for the next day, and one potentially for the next day, maybe, if he wants to, or they can eat it up here. But minimal amount of mayonnaise, he said that he doesn't want them to get slimy, so I just put a little bit in there. Ham, he likes it straight up like that. I know, I know, but there's a sandwich for him. Well, hey guys, um, it's Tracy from the future, but I'm putting an ending on this video. I know it's a very short video compared to some of my other videos, but it's just the way it has to be. Um, it's after, it's the day after Valentine's and, oh, just a minute. Oh, yeah, it's the day after, just a minute. All right, guys, well, it's the day after Valentine's. <laughs> I am editing all day today, so I'm trying to get this video done, and I don't have an ending on it. Oh. All right, guys, yes, I'll just use this for my ending. So, yeah, my mind's all muddled from watching days videos from a couple days ago to today and another day and all that jazz and stuff, but yeah, I want to put an ending on this video. Um because the Valentine's video, I think, will be a wee bit longer because, you know, strawberry social and all. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So 
Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.